Hello and welcome back to uh, another edition of the Beer News with the Beer Lad. I'm still trying to think of a good title for that. Um, this is the th third third edition. I know it's March and I was going to do this at the end of February, but it's the 1st of March um, and uh, it, it, it's a day late. Uh, but some news has happened since yesterday, which I was would have missed um, for today. So, let's crack things off. Um, I haven't got a beer with me, I've just got myself a glass of wine. I know I'm cheating on the channel, uh, going against my thing of doing beer, but I can't be bothered. Anyway, so we'll start the news off. Um, we'll start off with... Um, what should we start off with? Uh, we'll start off with some good news. In London, I don't think any of my videos are making it that far down to London, but if you're in London, there's a new cafe and tap room uh, open up. Um, beer and coffee venture called Good Company um, with the name of the um, bit, um, the place they're opening it's called Change Please and what it is is they are making money or well, not making money but they're raising money for fighting homelessness and to fix the food system which I thought was really really nice um, so it's a tap room and a cafe, so if you want to go for a pint, you can go for a pint. If you want to go for um, a coffee, go for a coffee. Um, it's open 8 till 8, and then 10 for the tap room. 8 till 10 for the tap room. Um, and they're also doing food collabs every Wednesday and Thursday. I did check this. Um, they're yeah, they're doing food collabs, so they're going to be serving food. Lunch, breakfast, snacks, side bits. But they do food collabs every Wednesday and Thursday to just get local businesses in there. Uh, and the address for that, I'll leave the address in case anyone is in the London area or is planning on going to the London area. The address is 17 to 19, so that's 17 to 19, uh, Triton Street in London. Um, I didn't get a postcode, but that's the street. So yeah, if you need that, I might edit it so that way I pop it on the screen here somewhere, but it'll be there, or I'll leave a link in the description. Um, Something, I'll leave something so that way you can find it. Um, so we'll go to some bad news, which is Pitchfork Ales are going under. Um, they have been, this is something they announced yesterday. So this is something I would have missed if I had done the news yesterday. Um, they are closing the doors. They closed the doors the last time yesterday. So they are going under, which is a bit of a shame. But I believe I read it was from the cost of living and energy prices and everything going up and not being able to afford all the bills that are forthcoming which is a shame um i personally didn't have anything from pitchfork ales but it's just what's happening unfortunately with everything that's going on um same with i got this news from the beer dad um black sheep have announced they are they're not closing but they are increasing the price of um beer so everything's going to go up i didn't get i forgot the date but i did get a date for it um but they are going to increase the price of their beer by nine i believe it was 19.5 percent um something along them lines it's a big big um hike in price 19 percent, i believe it was it's massive so if your beer is costing four pounds for for a pint it's going to go to 480 near enough which is a big jump. Brewers don't usually put that big of a jump on. Pubs don't usually put that big of a jump on. It usually tends to be 5, 10p, but nearly 80p is, is such a big, big difference in price um, that it's not something that you're going to miss. It's something you're going to just notice. So, yeah, that's that's where we're at in, in the cost of all this stuff to try and enjoy a bit of beer and enjoy a bit of time off with, with beer. Um, Price uh, price hikes, unfortunately. Uh, moving on, there are some good. There is some good news here. Um, again, more good, bad news, but we'll move to the good news for now. Uh, the SIBA Award or SIBA, I don't know what it is. Um, they've announced their finalists. Uh, I'll leave a link to that in the description because there are about twenty categories. Um, massive, massive thing. I thought it would be one or two categories, and I'd write them all down, but it's not. It is. It's about. 15 to 20 categories, best website, best beer, best looking website, it's um, uh, most 
appealing to the customer, easiest to get the customer, stuff like that. Um, and there's some names that I recognise, some that I don't, but they'll probably be vice versa for you. Some names you recognise, some that, that you don't. Um, Tremble Madness made it on there, which is good. They are a good um, website company. Um, Cloudwater made it on there as well for something. I forgot what it was. But yeah, there's about a load of categories. So have a look on there. Support your locals and all that stuff as usual. Um, moving on. Bedlam Brewery has been bought out of administration by their former owners or their former directors. Um, which I don't know whether that's good news or not. Don't know whether their directors sold them. I, I don't know what's going on. Because um, obviously it's former directors, which means they've sold them. Um, don't know if they've noticed that it's gone down in business and business hasn't been doing well and they bought them at a fraction of the price because that is kind of how you do business but if that's not the case and they have just bought it back and they're going to turn it around then good on them um, if that's not the case and they have bought it because it's a fraction of the price that they sold it at then that's obviously you know how business is done but they're not in administration anymore, which is, I think, a good thing. Um, don't think I've had any of their beers before, but a company not going under is a good sign, I, I, I'd i say. Um, moving on. North, North Brewing, have announced a collaboration with a Halifax band, Halifax rock band, called the Orioles. I've never heard of them. Um, and I quite like my rock music, but I've never heard of them. But it's, to, it's a session pale ale. And it is to celebrate the band's upcoming tour, which starts in the 22nd of March and ends on the 14th of April. So it's a short tour, but it's to announce that because they've got an album coming out around about that time as well. Don't remember the name of the album. Um, I did look at it and I couldn't pronounce it, to be fair. But it's to announce, it's to get that going. Um, I don't know where North are from, actually, if they are from Halifax, because if they are supporting the local stuff which is quite nice if they're not then it's just a random band that they've picked out or something i don't know but there you go so there is a beer to do this it's a 4.7 percent session ale and it's got idaho 7 citra and something else in it i can't remember but it sounds like a good beer and i'm gonna see if i can get my hands on it to review it um like i say it's coming out around about the same time as the tour so about mid-March, late March, so I'll, if you see it, you'll know why. Um, next, BrewDog are no longer a B Corp, and what a B Corp is, it's, from what I remember, it's to show that you, um, not to show, but it shows that you care about the planet a bit more and you are um, aware about what you're doing. Um, it just means you're doing good for the planet. You're recycling a bit more, you're reusing a bit more, you're not just use once and get it, get rid of, you are reusing and renewable, and not renewable, but you're reusing, you're recycling, you're taking care of your business to help take care of the planet, and they are no longer a B Corp because they can't uphold the additional measures requested by B Lab. Um, I didn't know that was a thing, but apparently they can't do it, something to do with... Um, they're wanting to follow their blueprint or their roadmap and it just doesn't go with it unfortunately which is a bit stupid it's just like look after the planet but if you're not doing that you're not doing that um packaging there's been a packaging cost hike for brewers um for recycling fees um and these have risen by 111 percent in 2022 um so I know we're in 23, but that's this came out quite recently. Um, so it's quite a massive hike, 111%. So if it costs you £100 to recycle something, it's now going to cost you £211. So that's a massive increase just to recycle stuff that should be easily recyclable. But again, cost of living, energy crisis, all that stuff, um, that's what it is at this point it's it's just a lot of stuff to it's a lot of money to do something simple now or what you think would be simple so yeah it's not a lot of good news but it's something to keep you aware of what's going on um hopefully it keeps you going to your locals going to your your 
brewers, like your favourites, keep you buying them so that way you know that they're struggles or they're going through struggles so that it helps them. So being aware of these things helps you help them in a way. Uh, and finally, I thought I found some funny news um, and it's just, it. I don't know why. It, it's a bad decision for both beer and Microsoft. Um, Stella. I don't talk about Stella. I don't drink Stella. I think it's absolutely rank. But the news itself I found was funny. Uh, Stella have announced a gaming ad campaign for The Sims. You know, the building com not the building com the character building game, you know, where you simulate your life and all that stuff, whatever you want to do with it. Build a house and mansion or whatever, or make your own alien character. Yeah, Stella's going to be in that game. Don't know why. Um, but, you know, that's what they're doing with their time and their money. So not only can you drink your Stella and beat your wife, you can now drink your Stella in Sims and simulate beating your wife. So that's, you know, where they're going with it. Um, I thought it was a bit stupid, to be fair, but I, I didn't think Sims would do that or Stella would do that. That's, yeah, that's just what we've come to. Anyway, um, so that's all the news I have got for today. Um, there have been some other bits of news there, but not really big enough to um, announce. But yeah, I'll leave a link to the in the description to the SIBA finalist announcements uh, where you can have a look at all that stuff. Um, any announce that I'll find, or I'll leave also an address in the description for, um, what was it called? Good Company. Um and their place if you want to go there. I'll try and find a link to their website if they have one and or whatever, I'm not sure. I'll have a look for all that stuff. Um, but yeah, that's this edition of Beer News with the Beer Lad. Um, still working on the title. Anyone's got any um, suggestions, shout them out. I'm always open to new ideas. So if you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down. All right, usual stuff if you want to subscribe, consider doing so. All right, usual stuff if uh, yeah, if you like the video, yeah, if you want to subscribe, consider doing so because the show must go on, etc., etc., so on and so forth. And I'll see you later.